Or maybe I can make another one. And I've got to figure out the packaging. We decided to climb up somewhere on Arthur's seat. Uh, it's not really Arthur's seat, it might be called the Crags. Because it was raining today, we didn't want to go all the way up there without cameras. Yeah, we did bring a coffee. We've got a hot chocolate and coffee. Okay, I'm gonna sit the camera here. I hope that'll be fine. Maybe I'm a bit too close. I might move back a little bit. Um, but I wanna design a cat memo pads. So I want it to be cute. I've kind of got an idea in my head, but I'm just gonna sketch down. I'll put the screen to the side to cover up these boxes here. So I'm using a 6B pencil and no streamline to do like a quick rough sketches of what I wanna do. So what type of cat, what type of style? So like a kawaii face. I'm a really rough sketcher by the way because I feel like I don't want to waste time on my sketches when they're usually just ideas. Um, I can't remember if I've always been like this. I don't think I have. Maybe I learned more of this when I went to do graphic design. And it was all about just getting ideas out really fast. And don't think too critically about it because you probably won't like it anyway. Okay, I kind of like this idea, like a cute round cat. I like these eyes that I'm doing at the moment. I accidentally did these type of eyes and I think they're so cute, so I just want to use them in everything, okay. Okay, I don't know where the actual writing part's gonna go. Okay, I've got a frog design like this. I, when I was little, I used to draw lots of designs with um, this type of thing, like animals holding things. Okay, so I'm not gonna make a memo pad, but I'm gonna make memo paper. Or maybe I can make a memo pad because I can connect it. Oops. So if I make this into a memo pad, then I would connect it here with glue, just along this edge. Um, yeah. I think this would be really cute. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is open up an assisted layer drawing assist. Edit symmetry. Okay. Dark Narinda pencil. Um, streamline right up. And now I'm changing the drawing guide back to grid. So I can make this bit of paper and I want this to have um, rounded edges so how am I gonna do that I'm gonna do a circle here and that can be my rounded edges now for look red I'm gonna turn all these grids up because there's too much distraction now. And the background. Okay, 
so that can go under there. And this is just going to be my guide. Okay, that's quite a nice size. First imported that onto here and I want to make like a little washi sheet like I did with my jam ones just to go with it so some mini little sizes so if I use these as my comparison I'll just use one of the big grade ones so I don't wreck it this one was the one that turned out a bit pale and not how I wanted so I can use that for myself but I want the washi to be half the size of this so I will measure it out on there and what is a good sticker size I want it to be able to fit in with this so mm, it can go on the back of this I think so if I have it about to the eyes So I've got a few things that I want to do. It is currently like four o'clock. Um, I've been to work today. So I did these cute little memo pads um, and I've got to figure out the packaging for them because it's, well, it's memo paper. I was going to make a cat memo pad because I found that people had found my listings by searching cat memo pad on my Etsy. So I was like, I don't have a cat memo pad. I don't understand how people are finding me by that. They must have been just finding me by the handmade memo pad part. But I really wanted to make a cat memo pad because I thought it would be cute. And yeah, that's what I came up with. So I decided just to make it as memo paper instead because the only way that I could really join it would be by the dots of the ears. And I don't think that would hold up. So maybe by there. Hmm. Can I just glue that part? Is that weird? I don't know. Maybe I could do that. No, I'm just going to leave it as memo paper. I think it looks quite cute. And I've currently got it in a glassine bag. I was thinking about using tracing paper. I've got a bunch of tracing paper and I had made bags out of it for my jam memo paper. Um, so maybe I'll use that up and make some tracing paper bags because they look kind of cute because you can see the actual design through it. I tried to print on my tissue paper yesterday, but it didn't work. I've tried this a few times and my printer does not like it. So the actual print is okay. 
but these parts lift up and then get ink everywhere just on the sides here and I don't know how to stop that because I taped this down so yeah I can't have printed tissue paper so I've also been loving drawing on like little memo paper so these are what this is something I bought ages ago and just had it on my fridge and I wanted to use it up I actually use it quite a lot so I've ran out of some of these papers and I have been designing things and this is what my design looks like I actually find it quite easy to design like this because I've only got a certain amount of space to get my idea out so I put it like that and it really does jump my memory I can remember everything that I'm thinking I just need that amount of space and I can pop it in my journal then as well for ideas for later if I don't end up doing them yet